Hey everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use conditional formatting to quickly analyze uh, results, in particular from from a, from a set of financials. So in this example here, I've downloaded data from Nike's um, previous earnings reports. So I've got data going back all the way to 2018. I've got revenue, net income, um, their sales by segment, by parts of the world, their inventory levels, and their profit margins. So what you might be tempted to do if you download all this data is, you know, add some formulas, calculate percent changes, that sort of stuff. But conditional formatting can actually make that process a whole lot more efficient because that, rather than trying to go through, you know, number by number to see, okay, which one's increased, you know, which one's decreased, I can identify things like, okay, what quarter was higher than the previous one? You know, is the company streaking um, upwards or, tr or trending upwards based on their previous quarters just through conditional formatting? So what I'm going to do is select these values and I'm going to go to conditional formatting, create a new rule, and I'm going to select the option to use formula to determine which cells to format. When I click this, I want to be careful now when entering my formula because I want to make sure I'm starting from the first cell that I've selected. In this case, it's cell B3 and I can check right here. That's the first cell I've started. So that's where my formula has to start at. So I'm not going to write an if function because I'm just going to start with B3 greater than, and I'm going to look at if it's more than the previous period, which in this case is going to be C3. So it's going to evaluate. It's all going to be relative because I'm not locking any cells here. So it's going to look at whether B3 is greater than C3, and then it's going to do that for all these cells. So if C3 is greater than D3, if D3 is greater than E3, and so on. So it's gonna do all, all those calculations for me. And so I'm gonna click the format button now, and let's say I wanna highlight it in green and set the font color to white. So if there's an increase, that's what it'll show up as. So if I hit okay now, you'll notice I've got a whole lot of cells now that are highlighted. So right off the bat, you know, I can see that, okay. In this period, you know, E3, revenue of 12.3, um, billion was more than 10.3, which, which is which is correct. But then I noticed, look, it dropped down to 12.2, 11.3, 10.8. So just by adding this conditional format, I can see that, you know, the company's sales have declined for three straight quarters. So that's the value in, you know, having some conditional formatting in here is that I don't necessarily have to do all these calculations individually on a, on a separate sheet to say, okay, how much did one quarter increase from another? I can use conditional formatting. Another thing I can do is let's say I want to look at, look at profit margin. Anytime that let's say it was less than 10%. So I'm going to select this, these values here. Let's go all the way down here. Conditional formatting, create a new rule again and use a formula. In this case, again, I'm gonna start from B20 because that's the first cell that I've selected. So I'm gonna say, okay, B20 is less than, let's say 0.1 for 10%. And I'm gonna format this and fill it with uh, yellow background color, leave the font as it is, and I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, and now you can see, now it's highlighting any of the values where it's less than 12%. Now, in some cases, depending on how you want your conditional formatting to rules to apply, you can click on managing manage rules and you can select which ones take precedence. So for instance, if if you want to know that it was an increase, you know, you can set this one at the top and say stop if it's true. So it won't evaluate this other conditional formatting. So if I hit apply and okay, in this case, it uh, it was fine, but let's say I change this and say, okay, let's say this one was 9.5%. Now it's gonna highlight to, to green. It's no longer gonna highlight it as yellow because it's met that first condition and I put the option to stop with it if it's true. So you can play around with all sorts of conditional formatting here and you can uh, apply different sort of rules. Like if, they're, if the values are, are below a threshold, you know, if, um, if they're up a certain percentage even. So let's go a bit further and let's select these values again. And let's create a new rule. And let's say the company do, did did really well in a quarter. I wanna identify that and say, okay, is 
B3 greater than, I'm gonna put this in, in brackets just so it's a bit easier to see, 1.1 times C3. So if it was up by more than 10% from the previous period, then what I wanna do is set it to bold, italic, set it to a really dark green, and set the font color again back to white, just so it stands out a little bit more. Hit okay. And so now I can see where there's been more than a 10% increase compared to the, the previous period. So the, the, the good and the bad with conditional formulas, you can do a lot with it. So at the same time, you can make this really colorful, but as you can see, there, there can be a lot of value in saving you a lot of time in, in doing this type of analysis, just because you can add these rules however you see fit. So I just wanna do a quick overview on conditional formatting. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.